Okay. You know, the funniest thing is Andrew Johnson, not Andrew Jackson. Andrew Johnson, in terms of Lincoln, Lincoln was basically kind of saying, I'm going to do anything to protect the Union. I don't care if it means keeping slavery, and I don't care if it means whatever. It, I, I, when you think about, I just want you to think about this as a thought experiment. When you think about how white America is chasing the white vote right now, doesn't it look the same? It looks like, you know, well, we can't help, but we can't help ADOS. We can't help ADOS because it might upset. It could very well upset the, you know, white America to some extent. We have purple states. We have red states and some, some, some paper we're trying to flip from, from, from red to purple, whatever. We even have leftists who might not feel that. Right. And we've seen that. And so you still see this whole thing now of like, I don't want to listen, black people, you can't get what you deserve because it might upset white people. And that's the same thing that you got with like Andrew Johnson after Lincoln got assassinated. And before Lincoln, he was still trying to do the whole thing. Well, don't, you know, in terms of the orders he gave, there's something here about him giving an order, you know, um, and, and, and then there's other stuff in here about how he didn't want to upset or, or make Confederates think they were going to lose their property. You still have that same thing to me. Like America's still moving in that direction, in that capacity saying, yeah, we're not going to do anything because it might upset, um, swaths of, of white america and johnson did like if, if that if there had been a redistribution of wealth from the confederates to, to to ados you'd be looking at a different world right now i wouldn't have a show because i wouldn't need to have a show we would all be living our lives but you lincoln doesn't lincoln doesn't get enough blame to me for like his vp but that's a whole nother conversation i'm 